Hey everyone, how's it going? So I am here with the Tesla Model 3. This is a 2018 Tesla Model 3 and we wanted to share with you everything hand show, mods as well as accessories we did with this Tesla Model 3. Let's go ahead and start with the rear. If you own a Tesla Model 3 since 2017 to 2020 or you own a 2017 to 2020, you know the trunk does not automatically open unlike the 2021 and current 2022. So we install a aftermarket mod from Henshaw. So this is retrofit. You can now open and close your trunk automatically, just like the 2021 and 2022 version. So let's go ahead and open this up. If you own a Tesla Model 3 that doesn't have the auto trunk, you know it's a pain to open and close. So this has the two power struts from Henshaw, one on the left, one on the right side. Unlike the Tesla version, you only have the left side and the right side is actually still the gas struts. The problem with that is you will have stress, uneven stress on one side, which will cause panel gap over time. And even not over time, even at the beginning when you first take delivery, let me show you what I'm talking about. So the panel gap between the actual trunk and the rear pillar here, this gap right here is even with this side. So if you own a Tesla Model 3 2021 and 2022, go out and take a look. There's some uneven panel gaps on your door, uh, not on your door trim, but on your rear panel and your trunk. So with this, you have even distribution of the actual power struts and it gives even press when opening and closing. Unlike the gas struts, it's always putting pressure. So this was probably a three to four hours install. So definitely plan almost half a day for it. I uh, don't have major plans in the afternoon in case you run into any trouble, but it's pretty much plug and play. The ch most challenging one was fishing the wire between the actual trunk itself all the way up to the trunk. That was the most challenging, but with a lot of loop, uh, Vaseline, for example, you should be able to not have any issues. So definitely watch the video before you install it. There's a lot of wires that you have to run along the trim here. Lots of panels you got to take off. You gotta tap into your 12 volt underneath the rear seat and the canvas plug so you can control the trunk from your display. I think it's well worth it and something you can do yourself. I don't think it's challenging, it's just tedious. So it does come with the light up switch here that you can press, control the height, adjust the speed of closing and opening as well. Since we're talking about power trunk and power stuff, let's talk about the power front. So you can open your front now and close it from your app or display. So this is from Handshow again. This was actually pretty easy to install. At least I thought it was. And there's really no fishing, wire cutting or anything like that. It's just a few bolts that you have to run, a bunch of wires. Uh, check out our other videos on installation. So very convenient. You can open and close it from your phone app or from your display. You can close it from using this switch here, pressing on that emergency latch. You will be able to close it if you don't have your phone out. Very convenient. It also soft closes, just like the trunk. So let's go ahead and open that up to show you the hand show light underneath this weather strip. Really like this a lot. Daytime, nighttime, it looks very nice, especially in white. They do sell it in blue and red. Also Mario Kart color. So if you like rainbow color or like to change the color of it, highly recommend that version because you're able to just plug and play. It plugs into this emergency latch power and you don't have to do any wire splitting. If you just purchase the one with a solid one color, you do have to wire split, at least for the version that we install here. They may have updated that since. 
From the front end, you probably also notice this air vent carbon fiber piece. This is real carbon fiber, not the fake one you find on Amazon or Alibaba Express and so forth, okay? So just be careful about this if you're interested in this air duct, airflow carbon fiber piece that gives you more of an aggressive look from the front end. Check them out. Carbon fiber, more carbon fiber on the side rear um, repeater camera. So on both fenders, this is real carbon fiber, just a cap that you place over with adhesive. Mirror caps, really like this, the M3 look of the mirror caps. So highly recommend real carbon fiber again, really lightweight, doesn't add really much weight to your car or any. It feels like feather, very thin and sturdy. Door handle trims, if you want to black out your chrome, I think having a cap is much easier to black out versus trying to wrap this trim. So it's evenly cover the front end, you won't see any of the chrome. So if you don't like the chrome look, consider getting this door handle cover. Again, real carbon fiber, lightweight, thin, held together by, um, just, just 3M adhesive, it does come with a uh, promoter to help it adhere stronger. So I highly recommend putting the promoter on as well. Now let's get into the actual interior. So I'm gonna close this, open it, just to show you this door seal. I think Handshow is the only company that sells door seal for the rear that actually looks good. Tesla doesn't sell that. They only sell the front door sill. The problem with Tesla is you actually have to remove the OEM door sill to put their OEM lighting door sill. So it looks almost identical. It comes in chrome uh, or brush aluminum finish or black finish. So you can choose one or the other. It stays on for about 20 seconds. And then as you close the door, reopen it, it turns back on just like the OEM Tesla. They copy the programming exactly. This is a carbon fiber dash. This is a full dash replacement. So not, not this dash, but this piece here, it's all OEM. And Henshaw install this carbon fiber piece. It comes in matte and gloss. This is the gloss finish. Now they also have the dry texture so it's a matte finish but you actually can feel the carbon fiber weed i think that's going to be really cool we want to get our hands on that in the near future so remember subscribe and hit the notification bell for when that day comes but this looks amazing especially in person in sunlight or any light hitting it outside it looks really good you don't have that seam here you don't want to do a cap because a cap overhangs here especially on this side you're going to be hitting against this door trim and putting some pressure there you don't want to damage your door trim by just putting a cap over it so just be careful with that uh, some vehicle might not have an issue but some vehicle it's just really how how tesla align your door uh, if it's somewhat misaligned it could put pressure on here so just be careful when you're putting caps even wrap will not look good like this. This just looks like it came with the vehicle. I wish Tesla would have gave that option for a carbon fiber dash. Lastly, we have a mount. This mount swivel 30 degrees to the left, right, and 15 degrees up and down. So this is a version three. It also rotates about two or three degrees. If you're OCD about things being straight or aligned, so that is it for the Tesla Model 3 mods and accessories from Handshow. So really like their product. Again, check them out, link in the description. We do have a discount code, limited time right now. So remember to apply that before you complete your checkout. And their shipping time has been pretty good. Um, about five business days for North America. And that's through FedEx, so you don't have to worry about waiting months and months for it. They're pretty good with shipping, it's free shipping. And in addition, if you have any issues, um, just contact them through 
through the chat and they've been really good with us in addressing any issues we had, sending replacement um, for any any problems we may have or troubleshooting as well. They they will return your message within 24 hours, at least for me, um, 24 hours. Don't try to email them because it takes them a really long time to get back through email. So WhatsApp or uh, WeChat, download the app, reach out to them if you have any questions or just DM us on Instagram if you have any questions. Uh, especially with installation. There's quite a few viewers that reach out to us already that we were ha more than happy to help out with the installation or questions with the mods or accessory, especially with the modification. Uh, it can be challenging. Highly recommend, you know, consulting a local installer if you're not comfortable with it. Uh, you can reach out to Handshow again by the, the WeChat or WhatsApp. They do have recommended installer in most of the cities that is in North America and in other countries as well. So they do have a list. Uh, ask them if you are not comfortable with installing some of these mods. Uh, I highly recommend getting someone to do it for you. Of course, their recommendation, you also should call and talk to whoever that installer is and see how comfortable they are. Uh, get a feel for, for, for their experience is what I'm saying. So again, Handshow product, check them out. All the mods and accessories have been working. We have not had any issues with any malfunctions or if anything, some of the products are better put together than actual Tesla parts, to be honest with you all. So definitely consider them. Um, this is not a promotional video. Uh, we are just speaking on our experience on their products. And so far we've been pretty satisfied with everything they had to offer with the exception of the led lights uh, which i had trouble splitting the wire because when i was splitting the wire i accidentally bent uh, one of the lights so the light strip uh, lost power to one of the connections so i had to readjust realign but just be careful when installing this although it's just a flimsy uh, type of wire you think you can toss it around but just be careful when installing that uh, that you don't throw it around or pinch it you don't want to pinch it because when you pinch it there is a computer chip that's running along the whole light strip uh, that you want to be careful with otherwise everything else no issue at all uh, even the carbon fiber piece no issue they do ship it in i wouldn't say the best packaging that I have seen, uh, mediocre at, at best for their packaging. Uh, I have gave that feedback, at least for some of the trim that doesn't come with the original packaging. Um, but if you get packaging like for their front struts, it's, it's pretty good packaging. But if you get other accessories, like this carbon fiber piece, it just comes in a really odd box. And again, we, uh, when we had any issues, we just messaged them. They sent us a replacement, no issues with that. Um, no problems is what I'm saying. So definitely good customer service. Uh, as long as you reach out to them by WeChat or WhatsApp, uh, they don't have support, at least 24 hour support in the US, but don't email them because uh, they, they do take some time to get back to you by email. That's my pointer with Handshow. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Catch you all next time.